new GoPro setup. I'm actually digging this. It looks pretty cool. Anyway, you guys saw in the last video I posted, the title was Illegal Rap, uh, Karen Gets Upset, which a lot of people did ask in the comments, like, where is this? What's going on? Well, I wanted to devote that whole video to being a rap reveal video. I didn't want to interject the drama that did happen just days after I actually got the vehicle in my driveway. A little bit of backstory, and I have video to actually back this up, which is great. If you guys do not have a security system, uh, not even if you're a YouTuber, just to claim uh, amazing things that happen just around your house, but just for everyday things. Like I, I actually posted in a bunch of videos where just funny stuff happens and my security system's able to pick it up. I have 360 security around the entire building and there's just so many funny things that happen that you don't realize need to be filmed. And it's just so funny that those videos are now permanent on my security system. Back to the story at hand, two days after getting the truck home, one of my neighbors from down the street, I was cutting my grass, he came up and talked to me and told me, uh, I won't obviously release the woman's name, I know who it is, especially after seeing the footage, saying that she was raising all sorts of hell, being very upset about the truck and the color that it was. Now, I bought this house whenever I was 22, 23, I think, and it's not in the best area uh, of, of where we are. I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely not like in the city or anything like that, but it definitely could be better as you've seen with where my girlfriend's car and my truck were broken into last year. Not my ideal situation. So the neighbor actually told, this is hearsay for what I heard from my other neighbor, told that neighbor that it's going to ruin or lower property values in the neighborhood, which blows my mind just because it's like, first off, it's a nice looking truck. It's, it might be a little obnoxious just with the color, but everyone else in the neighborhood just drives like a, a regular Jeep Cherokee or a Kia Optima or Toyota Camry. There's nothing special. Unfortunately, this woman is what society would call nowadays a Karen, which absolutely she is. Uh, apparently she called the cops and in the footage I'll show you, you can just see everything, just her mannerisms and what she's doing. Uh, and it just, it's a very unfortunate event. So we'll see here, kind of funny because nothing obviously is gonna come about it. There's nothing illegal about my truck, but apparently according to her, I guess there is. All right, so let me set the stage for you guys here. This is actually the camera that, if anyone recognizes this camera angle, was used in the previous video that I mentioned earlier, where my fiance's car and my Duramax that I used to own was broken into. And what's great about this camera was the video was enough evidence to actually have the guy prosecuted. So this camera has once again proved itself because we have Karen walking up the road here. You can see in the top right corner, She's walking up past the vehicle, looks at it, which so far, nothing out of the ordinary. This is just a regular, it looks like someone's just walking. Now she stops and comes onto my property to take a picture of the truck. Still, not a big deal. Uh, it's just a little strange. And then the head shaking begins where she's clearly upset about this thing, thinks it's ridiculous, which it is. But to go to this length of disapproval is pretty crazy. Now is on the phone giving someone a phone call. I have friends in law enforcement and someone let me know that a call was placed complaining about this vehicle and for whatever reason uh it was just asking if it was illegal and saying that i should remove the wrap so at the end of the day she called the police and wanted to see if i could remove or had to be forced to remove my wrap off of the truck which is so unbelievably ridiculous because like i said earlier there's just run-of-the-mill vehicles inside the neighborhood there's nothing that crazy and just this is just a chevy colorado with a pretty wild wrap on it but nothing insane i don't live where there's an hoa or something like that and a woman like this is going to feel the need to call the police on me and try and have something removed off my vehicle that's mine i know the neighbor we've gotten to two altercations before so maybe this is just trying to get under my skin uh, we were friendly whenever I first moved in and then just sort of went downhill after that. She's one of those people, uh, it just can't be described any better than Karen. It's unreal. I try and stay quiet. I keep to myself. I'm just a homeowner who has a pretty cool truck in my opinion. And I like to cut my grass sometimes. Like I don't bother any of my neighbors. I just play with my dog out here. I really keep to myself. It just seems like some people in this world really go out of their way to get into altercations, cause trouble. And um, it seems like people who have an easier life have more time to think about stupid stuff like a truck wrap that's two blocks away from where you live. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. It just seems like that's the way the world's going with cancel culture and all that. It just is like everyone has such an easy life now uh, because we live in such a good country that it's easier to nitpick the small stuff in the world. So when it comes to dealing with pesky neighbors, I learned from the best and that's Bertrand850 who deals with his HOA president all the time and his solution was to go with the ship horn. We're not going with something that extreme, but I think we're gonna follow in his footsteps 
and we're gonna blast the train horn here from Horn Kings. This is gonna be getting installed next video. We're gonna be driving right by our house, giving her a taste of what annoying really is like. Also some LEDs here. Mike actually hooked me up with these because these were for his one Duramax. He was gonna put them in, uh, which he sold that Duramax. So they're gonna be going in the Colorado here because the headlights on this are like just this putrid yellow, something from the 90s, something you'd see on like a Chevy Cavalier from 1999. Don't know what Chevy was thinking. I've voiced my opinion and stance on how some of the things on this truck are outdated, but we're going to get them all squared away. Also, new headlights uh, are in the mail. They're going to take a while to get here. So in the meantime, we're going to step it up here with these LED lights. Full horn install. Let me know where I should put this thing. I have no idea. I guess on the back, just facing backwards I, I think that'd be the cleanest spot put it up here somewhere where you can't really see it or maybe in the front i don't know uh so let me know what you guys think where should i put the train horn on this truck it's gonna scare the crap out of some people oh my god these things are nuts also one new addition to the truck the 717 rear window decal make sure you rep these on the truck i mean they just look so cool so if you guys want to fit in with the gang, make sure you rep that. Also, it's good for I don't remember how many entries, um, but it's worth quite a bit for the price of the uh, for the price of the sticker. So if you want to rent a Ram TRX and all you have to do is buy a sticker, it's a pretty good trade off. One more thing I forgot to mention: we finally got rid of the fishbowl look on the truck. Looks so much better now with the tinted windows. I think we went 15, um, and then obviously the rear windows were already factory tinted, so we had to try and even them up as much as possible. But the rear, still a little bit darker than the front. And I was thinking, I want to get your guys' opinion on this, either a highlighter visor to go across the top, or we were just going to put like the tint banner. Um, I think that the highlighter visor would look pretty cool. There's another guy out there who has a, I forget what it's called, it's like Boosted ZR2 or something like that. Um, but he has a Duramax ZR2 and it's wrapped in like the rapid sky blue color and he has the visor on the top and it looks really cool. Again, still very hard to keep this truck clean. There's dirt everywhere. I just washed it last night. We're already back to square one. Other than that, I couldn't be more happy with the wrap. I think I, I was so worried, like I said, with the decision I made. It's like, is this going to work? Should I go with something else, like a design? We're going to go with the winter, like Arctic camo, which is so played, but uh, would look great on this truck because it looks great on, I saw it on a 4Runner once and I was blown away. So maybe that'll be in the near future here for the truck. We'll see how this goes. This will be like the summertime theme and then we'll flip it to a wintertime theme. So I guess I need some advice from you guys going forward because uh this isn't going to stop with the karen i'm not going to stoke the flames just yet we'll see i mean she already tried to get me in trouble so we'll see if she comes by again or if the situation's escalated uh because i, I don't think this is going to stop it didn't stop for bertrand with his hoa uh which i understand that's a little bit more serious but uh, I, I just can't see this stopping. I have, for the most part, all the neighbors I'm on good terms with are uh, in support of me. They just think this is ridiculous that someone would complain about the color of a truck. Also, I haven't done one of these in a while. If you made it this far in the video, say TRX in the comments, just so I know you've been watching this long. Likes are always appreciated. They help out a ton in the video. If you want to subscribe, that means a lot. Uh, just bumps up the numbers and the notification bell is on for whenever the videos are posted. Follow me on Instagram, rfracing717. And look at this. I was just, I was filming a ton and I just realized my neighbors uh, across the street you're having a huge cookouts and they're all just staring at me <laughs> just talking to myself in my truck i'll see you guys next video